What's going on, y'all? It's the Fly Savitar on Xbox JG the Don. It's still all gears, everything, baby, y'all. I love it. I love it. Got this game around midnight, dude. I went to the midnight release and I I thought I'd never see it. I saw people getting not only the Gears of War Xbox, but they got the Epic Edition of Gears of War 3. Big ass box. It's bigger than the Xbox box. This, man, it's, it's ridiculous. And they got the Lancer. Like, I couldn't even imagine how much money that is. I know the Xbox costs like 400 but look at this dude. I'm trying to take my kill, man. He took my kill and then look, look what happened to him. Look what happened to him. Got sniped. That's what you get. But anyways, yeah, man, I saw this dude. He got the Gears of War Xbox. That's already 400 bucks. The Epic Edition of Gears is 150 and I have no idea how much that Lancer costs. Man, that's definitely a good, probably seven, eight hundred bucks. That's ridiculous. And it's dedication, man. I, I couldn't do it. I know I got money like that, but spending eight hundred dollars on just one one video game is ridiculous. Ridiculous. But anyways, I'm so glad that this game came out. I finally have something else that'll take me away from Call of Duty, at least until November. Gears of War is one of my favorite games, especially for the single player. And you see, I put that up first. I understand if you really don't want to watch it. Um, it's just for future references. And I had fun doing a live comment with my bro, Young Czar. But I understand that, you know, there aren't any spoilers. And look at that guy. I got sniped. I deserved it. I didn't even know that he could see me. And dude was just camping on the hill. I mean, that's what they do. But I'm going to speed up um, some parts here because there are a lot of boring parts. Uh, this is Sandbar. This is a big-ass map. So... People really don't be moving like they should be, so I, I really don't prefer big maps. I really don't like big maps on any game, whether it's a first-person shooter or this. But I think that any game that at least has a sniper should have a big map, just to try to cater to those people that like long-range, um, they like long-range engagements. But this map, this map is alright though. Um, playing with Commando Dom, a guy I am for pre-ordering gears at GameStop. He's alright. I wish I could have got Mechanical Baird. I don't know why I like the blonde hair, blue eyed devil, even though he's not blonde anymore. Look at this dude. I know he had a sniper in. I like what they did on this one where they have the little light that lets you know that someone is aiming at you. Um, I think they took that from Battlefield. Well, at least, uh, Battlefield 3. I think they do that now. But I, I like that. It lets you know when someone is actually looking at you. And sometimes you can tell anyways when someone is just standing still. But uh, I like that. This It's a thing to help uh, old players and new players alike. Um, but anyways, you see I got the, the Tiger Camo. I bought that in the marketplace. It cost 240 points. I just had something to spare, so I went ahead and did it. They have camos for everything. But the one thing I do not like about what they're doing. I know that it's all marketing, but... They have packs that cost like 3,000 points, and 3,000 points translates to like 30 or 40 bucks. That's crazy. I would never do that. I'll buy a few, you know, skin camos, but I'm not buying all of that. That's ridiculous. That's like another game right there. That is straight up another game. So I don't know why they decided to do that, but I guess the hardcore fans like, uh, like old boy that I was telling you about who got the Gears, Xbox, Epic Edition, and the Lancer, he'll probably buy everything. <laughs> Man, I, I can't do it. I mean, I know I love this game, but this is not going to be the only game that I'm playing. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I I realized that I should have really played Gears 2. Even though it's not like Gears 3, I should have played Gears 2 or Gears 1 because I'm rusty as hell. Me and my bro, after getting done with Act 1 last night, we went into multiplayer. Man, we got our asses handed to me. <laughs> like, oh, it was so bad. I was getting frustrated. And I realized, man, I'm rusty as fuck. So I got to get back into the swing of things. I can't be no little scrub out here being, you know, a little COD pub star trying to get into gears and then just getting my ass kicked repeatedly because I know I'm better than this. My bro done taught me better. He taught me about wall bouncing and all of that, not hard scoping all the time. So I'm, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. But you know how it is. It, it's going to take a little bit, so bear with me. I'll, I'll post my okay games, but then you'll, you'll, see, me, you'll see me get better. But, uh, like I said, I'm trying to speed up the the little boring parts where I'm not seeing anybody because that, that shit, I wouldn't even want to watch it my own self. 
I saw this dude around here, and he thought I didn't see him, but he went to hit around that corner, and I hate when people do that. I think that's the one thing that I don't like about Gears, and I understand what Nash was talking about when he said that this game is just all about, you know, corner camping. It kind of is, but then again, you can't really camp because eventually someone will find you, and then if you're outnumbered, you will die unless you're just extremely good at wall bouncing and you can avoid everything. Look at this. I don't know what he was doing. Now turn around. Hit him with three. You just got to be good with that shotgun game. Like this, this game, even though they kind of um, they kind of made it better to um, to use your assault rifles and everything, it's still all about shotguns at the end of the day. So you got to get good with that. Um, I really don't wall bounce like a lot of people. I usually strafe. So got to get that that strafe aiming, that uh, that quick aiming going. You'll be good to go. I sped up this part because the dudes, they were looking for these last uh, couple of dudes. So, sped it up until they actually got to them. But, watch, watch a little engagement, though, when they actually find them. So, he sees one dude right there. Shoots a digger at him. He didn't get that dude. Then he shot the digger at him. I don't know why he didn't kill him, but then he pulled out that sawed off. So, you know how the sawed off is. It's still overpowered in this game. I really don't see any major changes. I really don't even notice that it's bigger. And I don't know why he didn't kill him right there. He charged at him, but I guess he missed. Uh, but I still see these lame people with these sawed-offs. Like, I saw that all last night. People who had these sawed-offs, they were running at you. It's it's still the same in my eyes. The Retro Lancer, um, I haven't picked it up and used it in multiplayer yet. I don't know if it's... Uh, if the, name, if the damage has been nerfed on that one as well But it seems like that's almost the same But if it's not the same I know the sawed off is the same I don't really know there's any significant difference with that one So you get what they're talking about I still don't rock the sawed off Just Nasher all day over here I still can't stand the sawed off Hate when people run at you Because you know what they have in their hands If they're running at you head first Just roadie running at you You know that they got a sawed off in their hand and most of the time, if you're not lucky, you will get chili meated instantly on the spot. But on this second round, I ended up uh, holding this area. You see this dude right here, hanging around the corner, he threw that smoke. I threw mine back. I really probably shouldn't have threw that, but boo! Chili meated that boy. And that's the dude. I think he had a sawed off. I, I'm pretty sure he did have a sawed off, so he tried to run at me. I know how it is. You got to be quick. If you're close with the Nasher, it's an instant chili meat anyways. But even with, you know, the sawed off, sometimes you'll get lucky and far away. And this dude's hanging around the corner. And then look at this dude. He is on the mountain. Took that damn, took that damn boom shot and took my kill. I was like, you a fucking bitch. You are a fucking bitch for doing this shit. And this dude, he thought that he was good. Once again, met a dude with a sawed off. Then he hanging around his corner. And then he finally did something good and actually shot the boom shot where I couldn't get him. And so, basically, they kept running over here trying to kill me. So, I'm trying to hold down the spot. I'm pretty much by myself. Uh, but then that dude comes along. He doesn't really know what he's doing. So, he's trying to help him. I don't know what he's doing, but... He's about to get messed up in a minute, but I'm still trying to hold my own because I see that. And then the dude behind me, he's rocking a hammer and dying for fire and cover fire. Look at him. You see that? He ran straight towards me again. And then he gonna jump towards me. Like, what are you doing? And this dude, I don't I don't know what that dude was doing. He was oblivious. Like, he could have got the kill, but and then uh, his homeboy helped him. But I was like, that's the only way. That is the only way that I will take a kill is if you die or if you physically cannot kill the person once you down them. Gears of War etiquette, people. Gears of War etiquette. Learn it. That shit pisses me off and it pisses a lot of veteran Gears players out here when you do that stuff. Like, just because you want to kill. Like, you'll have so many downs. But no kills because everyone steals your kill. Like, I'm tired of getting assists off this bitch. You see that? Like, I should have got him that first time when he, uh, when he came around in the crate. But I missed my shot, so he started strafing with me. Sometimes I hate dancing with people, but you got to do what you got to do. I was obviously the better person in that situation, so I got him. So, trying to pick me up some ammo. I see that dude back there. He's trying to provide cover fire. But they keep spawning over there, I, so I guess we were technically spawn trapping. But I hate this big ass map, so I, because I don't really know like where they spawn at yet. So 
And I think they had a bot on their team. I think they had like one or two bots on their team. And look at that dude running towards me. Why would you run at me with your with your lancer out? Then once again, dude, with the with the sawed off. Look at him. Jumping towards me again. You got your koofy pop. You got your koofy pop, sir. Horrible. So we're pretty much whooping him this game. You see 10 lives one. I should have killed him right there. I really don't know what happened. I missed my shots. I was straight from wrong, but dude came and got me. So shout out to him for picking me up. At least he's trying to be a good teammate. You know what I'm saying? And, and right there, <laughs> like this bite. I was sitting up here like, why didn't I kill him? Shut up, Prince. Why you? Why you whining, huh? Wait till I'm done with the commentary. It's my dog. Sitting up here whining at everything. But yeah, I should have. I should have killed that damn bite. I don't know what happened. So he chainsawed me. That's what the computer always does. He always chainsaw. So speeding this part up, getting back to the action. Why are you licking the mic? <laughs> Why are you licking the mic? What do you want? Guy, go on somewhere for a second. <laughs> Bye. Get out of here. So come back up here. I don't know if this dude saw me or not, but he saw when I picked up that boom shot because he showed turned around. He's like, oh, I know that boom shot right there. And I don't know what he was doing, like, I don't know if he was trying to get away or what. I don't really know, like, what edge of the corner it was. I thought they shot because they hit him, but once again, dude with the sawed off is trying to charge towards me. He just did not learn his lesson the entire match. The entire match, so he got dealt with. You know what I'm saying? But this match is coming to a close right here. So we shut them out 2-0. I was the highest player, 14-4, I'm JG the Don, peace.